produced bountiful harvests. Now and into the future, the tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice are well known around the world. Others, like the jackfruit, fluted pumpkins, and dragon fruit growing here, represent the vast number of lesser known tropical plants. As we learn more about these crops, we discover that many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. For instance, the fluted pumpkin Look up thrives there, Rob. in the poorest Look up in that tree. soil nations of Africa. With its edible seeds and leaves, the pumpkin could become an important staple for areas where other crops don't grow easily. The unique looking dragon fruit is actually a member of the cactus family. The fruits are high in vitamin C, rich in antioxidants, and have a light, sweet taste. The fruit originated in Mexico or Central America, but is already becoming popular in Asia. It could become a source of important nutrients for people living in many oh, areas of the tour. world. These and many other lesser known crops may one day be as popular as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. What do you think, Rob? Look at all the. Going in a what? Evan! They're going to cook us? I thought it was hot enough. When we mention farming, you probably don't think of fish. But fish farming, or aquaculture, is an innovative way to increase harvests, protect wild fish populations, and produce a healthy crop. Joe, did you see the bananas? That grow to over 300 pounds. Oh, these are fish. That's a lot of cattle. Tilapia, bass, and catfish. Fish farming. Crops raised by fish farmers around the world. Most are grown in open ponds. But innovative recirculation systems like ours can conserve water and food production. More than 200 different species of aquatic animals and plants have been successful. Even these American alligators can be successfully raised in controlled environments like guns. Nearly half of all fish consumed worldwide is now raised on farms. Many are part of our efforts to produce a bountiful harvest and protect natural resources here at the land. We grow about 5,000 pounds of fish each year, many of which are featured in restaurants around Walt Disney World. What do you think, Joe? That's dinner, Joe. What is? Yummy. Shrimp? <laughs> this greenhouse is full of some of the best ideas for improving plant yields. Disease and pests are two of the biggest problems facing farmers around the world. By careful selection and cross-breeding, we can grow crops like oh, these sunflowers and winter melons that are more resistant to pests and diseases. Look at Scientists that. have even been able to breed plants that can flourish in areas where water and nutrients and watermelons. Supply. Those watermelons growing up in the air is higher like that. yields with less hey, impact from the environment. Sunflower. See the fluffy white stuff? Hey, there's that stuff. Where did we read about that? We didn't know what it was. These plants are definitely on their way up. Nine.